is currently 7 32 p.m i got off work at 6 30 p.m and i was thinking i was like i should make a video and it's gonna be a video did y'all hear that <laughs> it should be a video about my job nothing bad just something to help out other people because i know when i go into new things or like just anything that's new to me i like to like research it or like watch videos on youtube just so i can be prepared or like know what's coming um so what i'll be talking is about bath and body works um their interview process and just things that you might need to know I've only been working there for two days so i can't really tell you any pros or cons but i will tell you as much as i know so this is what you should do for any job and i feel like a lot of people don't know this and a lot of people don't do this um when you apply for a job call them literally the next day like when i signed up for bath and body works I did it at like 8 o'clock at night or whatever, somewhere to go and apply for jobs. You can do it off of Indeed.com. I think that's a very good website to do it off of. That's what I do it off of. It updates every day and it's an easy application process. So what I did was I applied for Bath & Body Works. I called them the next day and this is the only thing I didn't like about it is that it literally took them three weeks to a month to actually get back to me so when i called them they took my name and my phone number and never like reached out to me i didn't have a job still so when they called me they're like hey is this scholar i said yes they were like what they did is they gave me a day but they gave me three times to come in for an interview so it was 4 4 30 and 5 and i got to pick one and i picked four when you dress for bath and body works interview i'm so glad that i listened to my mom my mom told me to wear like some like dress pants and a button-up shirt with some sandals or and when i went everyone else was dressed up like that and i was so glad i was dressed like that because like the hiring manager were to see like how everyone else was dressed and then me she would probably be like i don't know maybe look at me different i went there at four o'clock i don't know if every hiring process for bath and body works is like this there were four other people it was a group interview there were four other people that were there so i first walked in and they were like just look around because we're waiting for other people to get here and i'm like okay and i was there pretty early because I literally live a minute away from the mall, like down the street, and boom, I'm there. I was looking around or whatever, and then the highway manager comes up to me. It was a guy, and he was like, hi, are you here for, you know, the interview at 4 o'clock? And I said, yes. And he was like, okay, um, if you can find your favorite item in Bath & Body Works and then meet us at the front. I was like, okay. Like, I had to act like, yeah, I have something favorite. It was a scent called Rose. And I was like, I love it. This is my favorite one, even though I just found it five seconds ago. So I meet everybody up front and everybody has something. And then we actually leave from Bath and Body Works and we go sit at like where, um, what would you call it? I guess the food center where everyone sits and eat. So we went and we sat down. This process probably took 45 minutes. Went and we sat down. And they're like, okay, we're just gonna ask you a couple questions, get to know y'all, get to know your background, you know, everything. And so what you actually do with the product that you get, so this, uh, don't mind the black around it. I burnt it when I was lighting it because your girl doesn't know how to light candles. But let's just say I picked this, right? He's like, sell it to me. And I'm sitting here like, Hold on, what? I just picked this item five seconds ago. Like, you know, and he, he was like, it should be easy because it's your favorite one, you know? <laughs> I'm like, <laughs> no, it's not because I just found it. But I was like, okay. So this one girl went and 
she acting like she's been working it for five years and i'm like omg the pressure is real but when it got to me just wing it like just be like this is my favorite scent <laughs> what i did i had i actually had a um What was it oh rose right it was uh, the fragrance mist and i was like this product is called rose it's a fragrance mist and it's my favorite because and i explained the shower thing i was like when you get out of the shower and you just feel good and fresh and you smell good this keeps you feeling that way throughout the day it keeps you motivated to keep going instead of feeling uh, ooh. I was just talking out my neck I don't really know what I was talking about but that's what you do with the item that you think that's your favorite and then so you listen to everyone else and they just ask you simple questions like how do you balance if it gets busy but you need a stock and um, what else do they ask oh they ask like where have you recently worked um, what are some skills you have just like basic interview questions but it's really no pressure to be honest i just i hype up things before it actually gets to it like i'm like oh my god i have to sell this item to them oh my god what do i say oh my god oh my god like i'm having an anxiety attack when in reality it was the most simplest thing ever and i got hired for me it just took them a month to call me for an interview but it took them a day to get back to me um they actually do a second interview. That's where I'm not helpful because I was actually out of town when they called me and I was like, I actually can't make it to the second interview. And that's when I was like, oh my God, now they're really not gonna hire me because I'm not available to, for the second interview. But this is what you should also do. You should call them again. Like if you can't make it to the second interview, when you are available call them and be like hey i was just wondering if we are going to set up a second interview like i'm available do, do, do. you know put yourself out there like you actually want the job and they didn't call me for like two days and that's when i was like i didn't get the job but they finally called me and they didn't even do a second interview they just said hey can you come on this day for onboarding and i was like Oh, so I'm hired. I got paid eleven dollars an hour. Well, I do get paid eleven dollars an hour. Um, I'm actually only working seasonal. That's really the hiring process. There's not really much to it. Um, after you get hired, they tell you to come in for onboarding. I went on Sunday for onboarding. Today's Monday, so so yesterday, I went onboarding. We just watched videos and took notes on this packet they gave us, which is actually right here. That's what the packet looks like. It just tells you a bunch of stuff. I'm not even sure if I can show you this. So I'm not. <laughs> but it's like, it's just this packet. Um, it looks like a lot. It's not a lot. You don't even have to take notes, to be honest. Um, you just have to watch all the videos answer the questions on the screen and boom you get credit for it i know on my first day of onboarding i did day one and day two and that took me three hours and i only worked three hours so i didn't even get to get on the floor that day i just did that and i went home but i got paid so i didn't mind today was my second day what i did was i did day three i'm not sure if there's more than day three I don't think there is to be honest but i did day three it only took me an hour i only worked three hours today as well but after that what they do is they give you an apron they print you out a name tag um you put it on the apron they give you for um people that are training so today i was training they give you like this big circle badge i guess what you can call it i don't know but it says like training in progress or like training. To be honest, I don't know, but it's something cute. And you get to pick out a small hand sanitizer, like the to-go hand sanitizers, and then like a case for it, like a dollar case, and let it hang. And then like 
you use it throughout the day. That apron is actually yours. So at the end of the day, you keep those things on it and you just hang it up. And then the next day you come, put it on, you got your stuff on and that's your apron. After the, I finished the day three for onboarding, I got that apron and then I went out and they gave me someone, they gave me a person to sh shadow. Yeah, I shadowed somebody. <laughs> And now that we, now that we, that we, if, 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 what was say, don't. Sorry. Um, they, they just show you, like, where everything is, what to, like, remember, um, what to say to customers. I didn't really do too much of that today because it is a Monday, so it was slow. I did a lot of stocking. That's basically all I did. So, the perk of working at Bath & Body Works is that you get free stuff. Um, I want to say maybe like once a month, um, they gave me like this gift bag and like where you get samples of stuff and it's, it's amazing. But what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to show y'all what I got because there is a new product that came out and everyone got one. I think of the new product, you actually get the full size and then just like a little travel sizes of everything else so she was like go pick Wudu on the table and it was the full size so this is what i got it's the moisturizing body wash with shea butter and cocoa butter rose which is funny because it's the one that i use for um my interview but it was the fragrance but they came out with this it smells so good but yeah so this was free there was like i don't know like eight to choose from but i was like i'm not even gonna be picky because i get one like every month and then the travel sizes that they gave me um is this i don't i'm not gonna be lucky how do i make it focus okay i'm not even gonna try but it's called giggle ultra sheet butter cream 24 hour moisture but yeah so it gave me the travel size of the lotion the fragrance mist and the shower gel so they give me these three items for free so that's a perk so i guess that's a pro um a con is that we only get 20 hours a week but we get paid 11 dollars, so it kind of like makes up for it um i'm not really complaining about 20 hours a week because i am a college student so it like fits perfectly with my schedule that's the con so far for me because i was wanting to work 30 to 35 hours a week so that's all the information i have um but this is the end of the video. If y'all want me to update y'all on how it is to work at Bath & Body Works and is it worth it or we'll do it. Because I know there's a lot of videos on YouTube talking about why I quit or Bath & Body Works exposed. I can give y'all my insight too. Um, but yeah, this is the end of the video. Thank you for watching. Like, comment, and subscribe. And yeah.